Chris and I have a utility project here at the Florida Fixer. We have our fiber going into the house. We got it done last March. It's been great. The technician came out and brought it down the street in conduit and up into this box here, which is, uh, it's an old Verizon box. I think Frontier bought up uh, the Verizon utility. And then from here, the technician came out of the top of the box ran it around the house and in above ground and put little flags on it and said that they would have a contractor coming out. And of course they showed up with a beautiful service truck and trailer and a trencher and they were gonna just put, actually the contractor was a young guy in a car with I think a pick and a small shovel. And I'm not sure he used the shovel because all he did was take the line and put it under the rock like not under dirt just under the rock and around and it just started coming up so we decided to do it right because we're going to be remodeling we want to come in on this side of the house anyway so we uh, Chris and I dug a trench just a hand trench pretty easy soil to dig in and we picked up this uh, three-quarter inch ultra tight it's a uh, rated for ground berry watertight we brought it up into the box and then up the wall and into a box. I drilled through the block into the house. So we're gonna be underground, sealed up, and all the way into the house. But to pull the fiber through, I need to have a string line pulled from outside the house there up into the box. Chris is gonna work on this end. We have a vacuum. This one happens to be cordless, but that doesn't really matter. We just didn't wanna stretch out the extension cord. And then we have a hose that just happens to snug tightly over the conduit there. That's the gray stuff. You can see there's just the red where they come in. And we're going to go back down and into that. So what I'm going to do is go over to the other end now. On this end, I just took a shopping bag. It's actually one of the Lowe's bags that I actually bought some of the electrical stuff in. And I've just made up a, a mouse. You can buy these uh, from electrical and they work better probably. But I have been doing this for a long time. Uh, back when in the uh, late 90s, early 2000s, we were doing a lot of commercial work, putting in uh, remodeling for tech companies. And we were putting in the big four inch, multiple four inch lines and trenches way deep uh, because of security. And we'd get it all done. And then, you know, weeks, months later, we'd come in and take big shopping bags and just pull them all the way through. We're talking hundreds of feet with four inch and it would have water in it and stuff that pull the water out. It, it amazed me how far just a vacuum, a standard old vacuum can pull this. But okay, fire it up. Okay, it just made it through the other end. Let's go take a look. Could have been there for a few minutes. All right. So there it is. I've got my string, my pull line now. And I can go ahead and bury this. I could have buried it ahead of time. We can always pull another string later if we need to. In fact, probably what I'll do is when I pull the fiber through, I'll probably pull another string through with it so we'll have a secondary pull line in case uh, we ever have to pull anything in the future. 